canceled? What do you mean it's been canceled? That's the third flight that you canceled on me. Look, I gotta get back to Pine Valley today. I'm sorry, the entire city sucked in. Is, isn't there someone? Someone who's flying Nobody's out? Nobody's right flying now. in or out right now. Last flight landed five minutes ago. Yeah, Glenn, go ahead. What do you got? How much ice you got on the wings? No limos? No cabs? That can't be. This is New York. I mean, there's got to be a way for me to get out of this city. I I've got to get home. I have a film crew waiting for me. Good morning, Miss King. Don't good morning me. This day couldn't be worse if it tried. I can't get out of this godforsaken city, and I have got to get home to Pine Valley right now. Finally, something we share. I have to get to Pine Valley myself. Well, all the airports are closed, and I can't even hitch a ride on a bus. Olga, Olga, Olga has a car. Well, perhaps we could uh, put our heads together and... After the way you treated your own mother? No, I don't think we'll be putting our heads together. I don't want anything to do with you. My mother? You think Vanessa Bennett is... Is your mother. And you abandoned her while she was... she was having a possible heart attack. So you've been talking to Adam Chandler? Yes, he's full of very useful information. Mm. Especially when it doesn't concern him. Excuse me. You left a woman to die. If Joe Martin hadn't come along, I don't know what would have First happened. of all, she wasn't dying. You had no way to know that. Maybe not, but I did know that my help wasn't necessary. I saw Joe Martin coming. You know what you did? You ran as, as fast and as far away as your feet would carry you. That's what you did. You're new to this town, Doctor. And I had heard the rumors, but I really did not want to believe them. I mean that. I mean, after all, you had been so kind the way you treated Bianca. I really wanted to believe that you were a very decent human being. But after the way you abandoned your own mother while she was probably having a heart attack and threatened me in my own office, I'm sorry, I, I agree with everyone else. You are just as cold and hard-hearted as everyone says you are. Oh, no, oh, please, oh, no, don't close. So close, please. I have to go home. I have to get to Pine Valley very quickly, and I need a car. I'll take any car. I don't care. Well, I've only got one left, and it's a sport you. Oh, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect for this weather. Okay, I'll take it. The sooner I get out of this airport, the better. I see a credit card and driver's license, yes. please. Yes, sure. Here you go. Right here. Excuse me. I couldn't help but hear you tell this woman that you have only one vehicle left. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to take that vehicle. Are you kidding? This is my car. Go get a hotel. I'm a doctor, one... a cardiologist, and I have an ill patient waiting for me back in Pine Valley. And since all the flights are canceled... Yes, of course, doctor. Uh, I'm sorry, but medical emergencies do take precedence. It's a policy.
look at this snowstorm, Erica. My guess is they didn't make it. Of course they made it. I missed Enderby for the whole special. Stellar reason to plow through three feet of snow. Where are you going? I'm going to go out and shovel. Unlike you, I really do have a pressing reason to get back to Pine Valley. Oh, right, your medical emergency. I'm sure you're in such a hurry to help your poor, sweet mother. If you're in such a big hurry, why don't you get out and help? I will. First, I have to call the camera crew. I have to tell them they need to go home before the storm gets up. Of course you do.